it can be said that becoming an auto sales master uh, is probably the most difficult thing in Atomy. Once you're able to achieve this, then your chances of becoming a diamond master are very high. And once you've become a diamond master, the chances of becoming a Sharon Rose master are even higher. And it's even higher when going from a Sharon Rose master to a star master. What if you become a star master? What are the chances of becoming a royal master? It's very high. What about from a royal master to a crown master? Almost everybody makes it in. During the past 10 years, uh, Atomy has produced several imperial masters. It's amazing that 10 years ago, we only had a handful of members, but from those members, several imperial masters have come out. We also have 30 to 40 crown masters now. Considering that there are hundreds of times more members today, we can assume that 10 years from now, there will be a hundred times more high-ranking members in 10 years. And I truly believe this. And you must be sure in those ranks, right? Uh, I want to point out that becoming an auto sales master uh, has the lowest success rate for those who have just started this business. Uh, when you compare it to the other higher ranks. Do you understand what I'm saying? Once you've become an auto sales master, many of you will become a diamond master, and the chances will become higher for becoming a Sharon Rose master. Uh, Atomy business is more like a long distance marathon, which requires patience rather than a short distance sprint. I've also experienced doing sales for, uh, from the very bottom of the ladder. Uh, in the beginning, I worried a lot about whether the other person was going to listen to me or not. Yeah. Many times, I thought that a particular friend might hear me out. So I went and I talked to them. But in many instances, they just didn't listen to me. However, there were instances where I didn't really expect very much from the other person. But that person would then buy my products and sometimes they'd even join the business. That is why in this type of work, you should not be trying to predict the other person's response. He is going to join, but she's not going to buy. There's no need to try to predict other people's responses. What then is it that you have to do? Because you cannot know other people's thoughts, you need to go ahead and talk to the other person. And if the other person responds, then you can simply continue talking to them. One day, I had an epiphany. There was a moment where I figured out what sales was all about. I realized that I didn't have to spend all night predicting whether or not the other person was going to respond to me. I realized that all I needed to do was simply talk to that person. My job was to decide how much I was going to talk to this other person. And after that, it's up to the person whether they're going to join me or not. That was when I realized the law of own mind. Everyone repeat after me. Law of own mind. Whose mind is it up to whether they will join or not? It's up to the other person's mind, but whose responsibility is it to talk to them or not? That's up to you. One thing that you can control is your own mind. We're not able to look in through other people's thoughts. So, if we continue to talk to people, then there will be people uh, who are looking for this kind of work. Uh, and there will be people around you that have to do this kind of work. This is a probability game of finding these kinds of people. Everyone repeat after me, a probability game. Yeah. Remember that the success of this business will be determined by how many people it is that you talk to. Yeah. And just because you've spoken to the other person once and they rejected you does not mean that you need to stop talking to them. Until when should you keep talking to that person? Until either that person gives up or you die. You keep talking to that person until that person joins the atomy business. You must conduct 
a stream attack. You don't pour out all that you've got in just one sitting. As if the waves hit a rock, you have to talk to them, then go away. Then you come back again later. You've got to think to do this at least 10 times. If you haven't spoken 10 times, it's as if you've never spoken at all. When you hear something new, are you convinced by that person right away? Do you think that person is right the very first time you talk to them? Or do you usually reject that person's offer at first? Normally you go home and you think about it, right? Most of the time, people do not put into action what they have heard. In many cases, they first listen, then they take the time to think. But if they continue to listen to your words, their negative thoughts will slowly turn into positive thoughts. That is why you shouldn't give up only after talking to others one time. You have to persistently go back and talk to them. Some of the royal masters and crown masters, they've shared that they persistently talked to their friends, relatives, and even strangers for a period of six months. And only after that did those people's hearts finally change and their business started to take off. This is not a business that will work in just one sitting. You must clearly draw uh, in your minds uh, the, the kind of successful person that you want to become. There is a very important thing I want to share with you. You must write your life scenario, which will even make you go head over heels as soon as you see it. If this can be realized, I would go crazy. If this is possible, I wouldn't mind dying to achieve it. You need to have a vision that's this big. Uh, I'm going to make $50,000 a month. If you want to earn $100,000 a month, then that is not 100% impossible. There's at least a 1% chance that this could be possible, right? It is possible. You should not pursue things that have a 100% chance of success. Please, don't pursue things that have a 100% success rate. If the work that you do has a 100% success rate, then you are not challenging yourself. Even if you're able to achieve that work with a 100% success rate, that work will not be worth very much. For example, let's say you go somewhere to work and receive $800 or $1,000 a month. That has a 100% success rate, right? As long as you're healthy, it can be 100% insured. Let's say that you've achieved that work with a 100% success rate. Is that work worth it or not? It's not worth it at all. You will still be poor. And that is why the thing that you need to do is not something that has a 100% success rate. You must do work that does not have a 100% success rate. Though the rate of failure is a lot higher, if there is a possibility, then you must live a life that takes on that challenge. It might not be 100% insured that you will make $50,000 to $100,000. It might even be less than a 1% chance. However, you must take on that challenge and you must achieve it. To be successful means to take on challenge, to be truly successful, even if the success rate is not very high. How would you feel if you could make $50,000 a month? How would you feel? Would you just be excited? Wouldn't that make you go crazy? Doesn't that just make you get goosebumps? What if you're able to solve all your financial troubles and you keep on moving into bigger houses that's 60, 90, 120 square meters? Ultimately, you move into a house that is 200 or 300 square meters in size. You can tell your children, 
You don't need to try to make money. Mom and dad have already taken care of that. Do whatever work it is that you want to do. This world is not just about making money. There are many things in this world that you can pursue other than making money. Just look for your passion and pursue it. Imagine you can become a parent that can say such words to your children. Isn't that an amazing parent? What if, what if you could earn the respect of your children and they say, when I think about my mom and dad, I'm so happy. If you make $50,000 a month, you'll be able to do whatever it is that you want for your loved ones, right? Yes, you can. You can help out relatives who are having a hard time. If they're in the hospital, you can say, don't worry about the bill. Just give me your bank account. I'll send you $10,000. How's that? What if you could live like that and still be humble and say, I was lucky. That's how I became rich. If you can truly earn the respect of such people, you need to draw that image in your mind. And you must go towards that. That is why the dreams that you imagine in your mind today are all scenarios that are actually possible. You need to hold on to that possibility. Even if that chance is as low as 10% or even 1%, you must cling onto that possibility. That is how you can become a successful person. The dreams that you draw in your mind can become a reality. Even if that chance is low, you must take on that challenge. Courage is not about not being able to feel fear. Courage is facing your fears. You must tell everyone around you, I will earn $50,000. I will earn $100,000. This may seem quite scary, actually. But you have to tell others about this. That is courage. The reason why you can dream is because it is possible. If you take up the challenge, then you can achieve your dream. I was able to achieve all my dreams from 10 years ago. There is nothing that I didn't achieve. I have a new dream now. It's a dream of 100 years from now. I am very excited today to dream of what Atomy will become like in the future. The amount of donations that Atomy gives to the society will increase tenfold. Yeah. So, Atomy has donated $1 million so far. But today, $10 million was wired. to give as a donation. Yeah. So, we wanted to make a foundation to help channel that donation. However, it's not as easy as it sounds. Even if the foundation does not become established quickly, the company will continue to execute its plan. Do you all know about the community chest of Korea? Yeah. Today, the company sent $10 million to that fund. And next Tuesday, uh, the fund will use that donation however the donor wishes. About $1 million of the $10 million will be used for marginalized women. And the remaining $9 million will be used for single-parent teenage families whose partners have run out on them. Uh, so the name of this foundation is Atomy, a heart that values life. The name is <laughs> it's quite long, right? So in short, it will be called the Mom Foundation. Uh, the name of the foundation represents the heart that values life, and it can also mean mother. Uh, so honestly, 
When I heard the stories of these single mothers, I was able to think about uh, what was going through their minds when they chose to preserve a life. They knew the price that they will have to pay. They wouldn't be able to go to school properly. It will be very hard for them to work. And there's going to be a lot of costs as well. They would also be stigmatized by other families and by society. So I decided to establish the Mom Foundation because the decision that these women had made to preserve life would in fact uh, cause great burdens and hardships in their lives. That was why I established the Mom Foundation. Though we can't solve all of society's problems, the initiative was to provide some help uh, in an area that the company had shown interest in. In that context, Atomy uh, wanted to resolve some of the hardships that these young mothers were facing. And there are actually advantages when Atomy engages in these acts. The company will first spend millions of dollars to provide a place for these women. The company also continues to provide support for child rearing expenses. There are also areas in which we can take advantage of Atomy. Atomy runs a school, right? I realized that the company had internal resources to help educate the mothers and their children. The next phase is to create jobs so that they could take care of their family with their income. It is important to support them so that they could be independent. What does our company have? The products that would be produced by these single mothers could be consumed by our members as well, right? Atomy owns a distribution channel, so the members would be able to buy the products that they produce. For example, let's say a bakery is built to provide jobs. What happens? If it tastes good and it's affordable, then you guys would buy it, right? Yeah. If you consume such products, then that would help the mothers pay for their expenses. Because of the distribution channel that the company owns, the company can create jobs to ensure sustainability. I thought that it would be possible to help them become independent. Many projects are going to happen with the synergy amongst ourselves. Mm. And all of this is only possible because all of you, the members of Atomy, have used our products. The profit from our products can be used for donations. For those who can work, you should continue to create value in your society through this system called the Atomy business. This helps create jobs for our supplying partners. It also allows the company to pay its employees and it allows the contractors to receive compensation. Many parties benefit through this business. For those who can work, the company provides jobs by giving an opportunity to work in this company. But for those who cannot work because of their circumstances, then we can help them out with the company's profits. This will be the direction that we will continue to take in the future. Remember that all of this is possible because of our members' efforts. It would be beneficial for you uh, to realize that the value you have created by doing this business is also used to help those who are in need. I hope you will feel a sense of reward. All of this to say that the dreams I had to contribute back to the society is being realized now, one by one. Remember, the dreams you have in your minds can actually be realized. We do not take up a challenge because it has a 100% chance of success. Though the success rate is low, we are taking on that challenge. True courage 
is to face the fear of failure. That's it for my lecture.